name is Dominique Thompson. I'm a media arts major and I'm 24. I wrestled all through high school. Um, I would have wrestled for USC's club team, but I tore my ACL, so I had to give that up. A move I do all the time, it just... Whew. Move I do all the time, it just kind of didn't go my way that night. Um, I went one way, my knee went the other way. I had another match that night, so my first thought was I need to get this taped up so I can get back out there. Dominic went down with an anterior crucial ligament injury and kept wrestling and then couldn't get anywhere near the sport for months. Um, I couldn't even look at anything wrestling related, like grappling, nothing, because it would kill me. Like, it was terrible, man. I guess you could say my peers, yeah. in a way, um, at the next level, when we were grinding together and we were gonna get there, and I just kinda got pushed back to the bottom of the hill. But it's, I feel like I'm better for it. I've known him for probably four or five years now. And he's always been one of those guys, like, you can tell when somebody just wants it, when they actually are applying themselves. And that's why I gravitate towards Jet. Because we got really close before he got hurt. I didn't really hear back from him until he was ready to start coming back and training. And he just kind of showed up one day. And I was like, hey, I'm here. And what was he like when he got back? Hesitant. But I was able to connect with him because I, I broke my ankle in December. I just came back in April. So I was really hesitant on my ankle the same way he was with his knee. So I feel like I was kind of able to coach him through that as well to really understand that he was still able to go instead of babying it. Ethan Case knows about injuries and knows about causing them too, even if it was an accident. And like in the video, you see me go, no, and it was all in slow-mo to me. Well, he jumps over the top rope and no one is looking at him. They all have their backs to us. And it's just like the floor in here, it was a National Guard Armory. And he smacked the floor and it cracked like his four front teeth. And they went everywhere. Like he went out there and picked them up after the show. So we come to the back and I'm like heartbroken because like I, I really have a connection with this kid. And I'm like, I am so sorry. Like, I don't know what to do. And he was like, it's cool, man. I've always wanted to get a grill anyway. Every time we hit the ropes, it's the same impact as a 15 mile an hour car wreck. So um, your body's always healing and always healing. And like some, I mean, there's times where we do this five, six times a week. So your body just has to like get used to healing all the time. So when something major does happen, I feel like we heal faster than like say regular people. Because, or people that don't wrestle, not regular people, but people that don't wrestle. Like my ankle injury, I wasn't supposed to come back till August. I came back in April. So. I feel like the recovery time, it makes it easier when your body's used to doing that all the time. Training for professional wrestling is never easy, but the hardest thing to learn? Falling. Any bodily harm is on his own. He cannot sue us and he cannot come back after us. Like that. Wrestling isn't all about the moves, though. No one can connect to a competitor without a character to get behind. Well, Jet Black has evolved quite a bit since I did this here. Um, but initially, it was just like hunger. I guess that's the, the, the defining feature of Jet Black, hunger. And by now, it's hunger by any means. So whatever I need to do, whatever has to be done to get what I deserve, that's what I'm going to do. I guess the only thing I think about every time is how can I do something different, be something different, do something amazing. These people are paid quite a bit of money. I mean, relatively speaking, to be in the building. What can I do to make that worth every dime? That's what I think about. The Equal Nation demonstration is basically a collection of people that think, ba uh, in a similar fashion to Jet Black, it's almost like if civil rights was less about uh, peaceful protest and more about kicking you in the teeth. Uh, I'm 
going to play whatever role I need to, man. Um, but definitely in the South, you kind of get pigeonholed. Um, and it's not just me. It just, it's very traditional down here. Right. The wrestling they like to see is very traditional. The performers they like to see, usually very traditional. Um, and you kind of try, they kind of try to pigeonhole you in that way. Right. But as a performer, that's not, I don't get pigeonholed. Yeah. Like uh, that same show in Pennsylvania, the, we were going to be more of the, the, the face, right? Me and my team. And uh, he told us point blank, they're not gonna cheer for you. Right. They will never cheer for you. And I was like, yo, oh, okay, we'll show you. And that's basically what we did. It was a fun time with the neo-Nazis. I get into it with everybody. Yeah. That's, that's one of my secret pleasures, is trying to get someone mad enough to stab me. If I, because this happened to a friend of mine before, he's got somebody so mad they try to stab him. I just want to replicate that every time we get out there. <laughs> On the more grassroots shows like this, there's that connection there that almost literally you can reach out and touch the wrestler. Um, and I feel like that's something that takes it to a completely different level. pretty well considering uh, I took it easy on the old man you know oh. I took it easy I didn't want to hurt him too bad he's got children Jet and the END took the win with some outside help from a rival promoter. And his leg held up without a hitch. Honestly, once the adrenaline started going, I didn't even think about it. So I'm back for good. Now that I know I have two working legs, I'm going to try to get these legs everywhere around the world, you know? So my next goal is to leave the country, is to take Jet Black International. <laughs> 